Okay, so we're going to do sample two for linking tags between the PLC and the HMI or the Design Studio project. So uh, I've showed you the classic version now in a previous video, and now I'm going to show you the, uh, the the latest design in the same version of software. I'm just going to show you it's, it's version 3.5, Service Pack 4, Patch 1 that we're using still, and version 191.0261 is the design studio so we uh we come into here we do a new new project uh i'm just going to pick the same thing i'll give it this the name display link to cdpx and okay i'm going to select the uh, plc simulator here just like before and i'm going to add some variables same as what i did before All right, and now we need to add a object device miscellaneous field bus all vendors uh, application ah so as you see here, this is important to understand. Depending on where you've clicked in the stupid project, uh, it only gives you certain options. So if you click up here, you don't get the option that I'm looking for right now. Uh, you need to click at the very top. And what we're looking for here is a Festo HMI. Um, you could come through here and select um, things a little differently, but this is how I like to do it. So this one right here, it's this is CDPX in display mode. That's what I always look for. Okay, so I simply add a device. Hit close. And come into here. So, this is the new fangled interface. And, uh, where are we going to do here? Okay, we're going to call this CDPX. Size 13. And... For this demonstration, because we don't have a real CDPX, I'm not going to give this an IP address. I'll just select that as a default there. And just like in a previous project, we need a symbol configuration. This one here will do it for you. Just click on Add Symbol Configuration. I'm going to call this uh, PLC device name, just like I did in the previous one. I'm going to give this... Uh, uh, 127 dot zero dot zero dot one. Uh, all right. Hide that. I don't care about that anymore. I can continue to add PLCs here if I like. Different names. Uh, I like to keep this short because what it's going to do, and I'm just going to show you this, is... Okay, so... Nothing in here. Ah, so as soon as I created this display here, it added this directory right here. This one that I'm doing right here in red. And right now there's nothing really in it, but it's going to put something in it. So this is the key point here. So you need to do this when you're starting your project. So you click on Start Design Studio. And what this is going to do is the, the last installed version of Design Studio. So if I put on uh, well, this one here is my only version on this particular uh, PLC, uh, PC. Uh, but if I went ahead right now and I installed you know, version 2.00 Design Studio and I also had this 191 installed. Uh, when I do this click right here, it takes the last installed. So it, the last version that was installed, um, if and it's going to start a project and, and base everything off of that installed version. If if I had installed version 2.00, just to be clear on the subject, and then I installed 1.91 after the fact, so it's the last install I did, and I clicked on this button, it would be starting the last installed version, which was the non 910261 So the 
point of this is that you start up Design Studio. And like usual, you select your PLC or your HMI type. Hit OK. <coughs> okay, so I did this wrong, but I'm going to see what it did anyway. So what did it do? It created the codices version 3 already for you, so we don't have to do that manually like we did before. And there's no tags. Well, there's no tags because I didn't do my job right. So um, I'm just going to move this over because I wanted to show you. Um, we're back to this directory. Remember I showed you created this directory right here? This one right here? Yeah. And then in there, it created this directory, which is where your HMI project is right now. So there's the name of the project. This is what you call the HMI project name, just so we have a correlation between everything. Um, what it didn't do uh, is, is add any tags. Well, that's because I never selected anything in the symbol configuration. So we need to do what we normally do, which is build the symbol configuration. The, uh, there's no XML file here, but there is one right here. And that's, that's where it creates the link, I believe. So in here, just like we did before, I hit save, and oh, now we have a pop-up. And immediately I get this little puppy come up. Okay, so this is important. Keep tags synchronized and remember this choice. <coughs> that is key. Don't ever not click that or you will run into problems. So I hit the OK button. Now, lo and behold, in my HMI project, without doing anything, without, you know, finding and importing the tags, it's already done this now. So I can go to my page and I can select my push button. Sorry, get on here, come down, and lo and behold, there are tags. Now, come into here. Click on the next tag. Hit save. I'm just going to go back here just to see if they're here yet. Oh, look at that. So it did all that just based on a save. So that's a lot better, don't you think? I mean, it's taking us the same amount of time, but now every single time you make a change to the PLC and add a tag or you want to add something or remove something, it'll update. Now, if you want to delete the tags, and you do that in the PLC. I don't believe it deletes them. You have to kind of do that manually. So I'm going to hit save. Come down here. And I'm just going to close this real quick here. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to basically delete the tag. So it, it brings them in for you, but you have to delete them manually. So you could uh, have some remnants of code laying around if you don't deal with things properly. Um, what else should I show you here? Well, let's sh show you this working. So, um, let's just turn that back on. Build, generate code, download. Did I select the PLC yet? I don't know if I did or not. Download the PLC. What did I do wrong? Uh, do a clean all. Clean all and rebuild. <coughs> Download. All right, so that's there now. And in the HMI, did I link a tag to this yet? I don't think I did. Okay, save all, start the simulation. And there we go. 
So we have a working <coughs> project. And that's how we do it. And for the sake again of showing you what's going on here, just going to close a couple things, log out. And I'm going to come into here. Add another tag. Another build. I want that tag to be in there. At this point, I'm just going to, you know, I'll just do a rebuild and I'll do a download. I uh, come into here. Edward's there already. Copy paste. Change the tag name to Edward. Save all. I don't know what I just clicked. I clicked that by accident, so I'm just going to accept that. Uh, start the project. This is still off, so we're still up and running here. Gotta love Windows, it's annoying. And in this project here, there's my Edward turning it into one, zero, and the other one's still working. So that's a lot easier and uh, less thought involved. So as long as you don't. Uh, forget to delete variables that you're deleting in here in the variable uh, tag list in the, in the design studio, then you should be good. Um, enjoy. 12 minutes.